Today, I'm going to talk about the greatest indie rock band of all time, Archers of Love. Archers of Love are an indie rock noise pop band formed in Chapel Hill, North Carolina in 1931. Like Superchunk, Povo, Guided by Voices, Payment, and Sabado, Archers of Love are the representative 90s indie rock. I discovered Archers of Love in the summer of 2018. Uh, it was a period when I was uh, kind of bored and underwhelmed with my life. And one day, I was shuffling through the Pitchfork, the best songs of 1990s playlist. And then, suddenly, one song caught my attention, and the song was Wapping Frowns by Archer's Love. And immediately, I felt revitalized, re-energized, like my life had many again. And for the next few months, I was just listening to I just love Debbie album, Ikimato, uh, over and over. I just couldn't stop listening to it. And it's probably super cringy and dorky of me to say, but like me, a Chinese girl born in the 90s, uh, fell in love with a band from the other side of the world uh, from the 90s. Uh, I just love are just my kind of band. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All I ever wanted was to be your spy. All I ever wanted was to be your spy. Ikimato, released in 1983, is a noise pop album with frequent, energetic, emotional outbursts. It's raw, abrasive, and helplessly catchy. Pitchfork rated this album as 9, and it's also considered a 90s indie rock classic. If you ask me what differentiates Archer's Love from the other 90s indie rock bands, uh, I would say it's their personality and character. They are groovy, relatable, funny, quirky, cute, and adorable, which is kind of also reflected in their name, Archer's Love and also their album covers and their music videos. Usually I don't really pay too much attention to lyrics in general, but Archer's Love lyrics just always make me laugh. <laughs> uh, a few lines from the song called Wrong are like my favorite lyrics of all time. of Archer's Love, uh, Eric Beckman, is six foot four and built like a giant. His vocal is gritty, gruff, and oftentimes shouty, visceral. And this creates an interesting contrast when he shouts about his nuanced self-consciousness on the topics of music scene, relationships, and himself. shouting out tension makes up a large part of the album Ikimato. But my favorite moment is when he decides to suddenly shout about toes. <laughs> The most accessible Archer's Love album are the debut album, Ikimato, and the EP from 1994 called uh, <laughs> this is the greatest of all time. Uh, well, Ikimato has a few songs that I'm more lukewarm about, but I would say that this EP, uh, Versus the Greatest of All Time, is like a really tight collection of five amazing songs. I read an interview that says that Archer's Love members also uh, reckon this EP as their best. In my mind, the song Lowest Part is Free is analogous to my favorite replacement song, uh, Left to the Dial, 
about the frustration of not seeing your name being recognized. If any band is most similar to Usher's Love in Spirit, it's probably the replacement too. They both share a raw, aggressive, melodic approach intertwined with sincerity, sarcasm, and self-consciousness, and both bands are my personal favorites. One of my favorite Usher's Love songs, Freezing Points, about late night drunk melancholy. Guitar. In 1985, Archer's Love released their second studio album, Vivi. Uh, Vivi is probably also my favorite Archer's Love studio album. Vivi is a more coherent album than Ikimato, and the whole album is based around the politics of indie rock scene. Uh, we can glean this from the song titles, such as Never Mind the Enemy, <laughs> Greatest of All Time, Underdogs of Napomo, <laughs> Let the Loser Melt. The world has yet to come. Underachiever march and fight song. <laughs> As usual, the lyrics are sarcastic and funny. Supposedly, Eric Backman writes from character based on part of his personality. Do you know when you're trying to write an Archer song, does that mean a certain style for you? Yeah, you know, it's different characters. It's, it's very, you know, it's, I'm a very, very, very big David Bowie fan, very big Bruce Springsteen fan. So, you, you know, these, these people mastered the art of writing from a character. Nothing's easy, but it's very clear that what I have to do to get a song written for the Archers is sing from this guy that hates commerce and hates Walmart and, and is bitter about his relationships. That guy is a real part of my personality, you know. Pitchfork's album review of Vivi described Eric Beckman as, he has a way of laughing at his peers, his audience, and himself without seeming dickish. <laughs> I still remember the first time I read the lyrics of the song The Greatest of All Time. I laughed for like five minutes straight. It's just so hilarious. <laughs> they caught and drowned the front man of the world's worst rock and roll band. He was out Usher's Love reached their greatest height on Vivi, but it's also the album where they overplay their hand. Indie rock deserves to be cloned as hard and as often as anything, but when you reach the point where you are screaming nostalgia at your audience or toting around the factuans on the Achievers March and Fight song, you might just need a vacation. Archer's Love's third studio album, All the Nations Airport, is an album that has really, really grown on me. Uh, it didn't really catch my attention the same way immediately as Ikimato, but I like it a lot now. Uh, supposedly, All the Nations Airport is based on the band's experience of touring all over the country and frequenting All the Nations Airports. Our backpan said, Ikimato is a pop record, pretty straightforward. Vivi is a rock record. Airports, I don't know what it is, but it isn't either one of those. By the way, in 1925, Archer's Love used to have a tour opening for Wizard. In all the nation's airports, Archer's Love show a more mellow and introspective side, rather than just shouting at things that piss them off. <laughs> Musically, it's also uh, more better produced and more diverse and generally over the place. It has several soothing non-rock songs like Show Me the Ocean, Rental Sting, and like purely instrumental songs as well, and some typical Archer songs. This album also showcased the uh, emotional ways of a constantly touring, chaotic life. Say
live your life. Ashes Low still explores their surreal imaginings out of airport security checks, terrorists, and tourists. Their storytelling skills are certainly their strength. The famously exacting music critic Robert Chris Gow commented on the album "White Trash Hero." This is their sound. There is none higher. Other indie bands should just retire. White Trash Hero is Archer's low final studio album before they broke up in 1998. They did not want to repeat themselves, and it's an album that is widely different from before. <laughs> Personally, I would say this is an Archer's Love album I am relatively less into. Overall, it's more scattered and more things heavy, and the tension is a lot more subtle. It has several good songs like White Trash Heroes, Fashion Bleeds, Smokers in Love after the last laugh.、Uh, but I would say overall, I prefer the first three albums. But I'm pretty sure that、uh, some there are maybe quite some Archer's Love fans. Consider this one as their personal favorites because it's really by no means a bad record. I would say it's even pretty good.、Um, it's kind of just like a personal preference, really. So my main motivation of making this video isn't just to express my personal admiration for the band,、uh, which, to be honest, can be a little bit cringy. <laughs>、uh, But more importantly,、um, just to bring some attention to Archer's Love's、uh, forthcoming studio album, Reason in Decline, which will be released in twenty first October, two thousand twenty two, which is next month. Archer's Love got back together in two thousand eleven and toured a bunch and released several really really cool singles in twenty twenty. But their newest album, Reason in Decline. Will be their first studio album after twenty four years. Wow! <laughs> you can pre-order the new album and purchase their previous records and merch at Merge Records official website. Also, Archer's Love fan camp page. I have included links in description below. Also, Archer's Love are gonna play several shows in November and December all along the American East Coast. If you're interested, don't forget to grab tickets. It is widely acknowledged that Archer's Love put on amazing rock shows with great enthusiasm. The frontman Eric Beckman、uh, occasionally holds living room shows in various American cities. You can follow his social media to keep track of these shows. Okay, right now I'm gonna share my personal top ten Archer's Love songs.、Um, number ten, Fashion Bleeds. Number nine. Greatest of all time,、uh, number eight, South Carolina, pure section version.、Uh, number seven, White Trash Heroes. Number six,、uh, Scenic Pastures. Number five, Assassination on Christmas Eve. Number four, Freezing Points. Number three, Wedding Friends. Number two, Harness in Slums. Number one, Wrong. <laughs> If you are Archer's Low fan. Please share your personal top ten Archer's Love fan in the comments down below, or you can talk about your what is your favorite Archer's Love album or your personal story with Archer's Love. At the start of this video, I said that Archer's Love are the greatest indie rock band of all time, which is half hyperbole, half what I really think. The music critic Robert Christgau wrote these lines when reviewing White Trash Heroes. Hey. We all have our personal ox rock standbys, campaigners who have stuck out a sound that rings our chimes dead center. For some people, their dead center may be sonic use, and for some, it's guided by voices. And for me, it's Archer's Love. Okay, so that's about this video. And if you like this video, please give a like button down below, and also welcome to comment down below as well. 
And whether you already know Asha's Love or you just discover Asha's Love from this video. Yeah, so I kind of want to take a break uh, from the kind of genre series and because Asha's Love are gonna release the new album in forever and I'm really happy and excited. And also, those videos are, are so much work. <laughs> I'm not complaining, by the way. But sometimes I need to take a break. But yeah. Okay, see you, see you for the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a good day.